what is up youtube welcome back to the vlog well it showed us in it and we're getting that warm up in an empty bar shoulder press on the smith machine making what we are going to do for the shoulder press workout as well from the workout we're going to be using uh, this smith machine itself uh, with why it's added on uh, for the warm up, get in 20 times 3 sets uh, for you to get those shoulders ready for the workout. Well, here is our first working set. Uh, we have 10 10 kgs on either side. It's not that heavy, but if you're looking, maybe you're a starter. You can uh, choose to do maybe a 5.5 five or a 2.5 uh, because the weight of the barbell is also on there so you can start low from the workout we did start with a 10 10 on either sides uh, for 15 times three sets Going up on weight for 15 on either side, making it 30 kgs on the barbell. Well, reps were 12 times 3 sets. I think you should not, you should not over uh, while doing uh, the shoulder press using the Smith machine. Is that sometimes the barbell is usually locked in one position, so I've seen people finding find it hard to actually press from the smith smith machine uh the movement is restricted yet when they are pressing using a barbell uh, a free barbell it it is kind of easier for them which is not the case with a smith machine i don't know if someone else has experienced that but it happens to a few people so you find that the barbell is easier for them to press rather than uh, using the smith machine where movement is restricted adding up uh, a plate on either sides for those were 10 times 3 sets and this was the last one let's go Well, uh, after that, we went over to lateral to front raises, uh, starting off with a lighter weight. Uh, you can choose what is light for you, but we were doing a lateral raise and then to a single arm front raise for uh, 12 reps times 3 sets. Then we had to change over to the next weight for 3 working sets as well. Uh, things you should note of is uh, try not to do that thrust when you're doing the lateral raise when you're even doing the front raise just try to keep your form right even when the weight gets heavier so you can start up with a weight that you can easily work with and you progress the other thing to note is a weight belt can also help to protect your back in case you're thinking why am i putting it on so it helps a little bit 
the thrust is not too much that is minimal it is accepted but don't overdo it in case you're doing the front raise uh, three sets and then we had to switch over to the next wave Next up are uh, the barbell upright rows. Uh, the empty bar weighs 20 kilograms uh, plus the bar plus the weights, uh, which makes it 30 kgs. That is 5.5 five on either sides. And uh, yeah, it was pretty, not pretty solid, but good enough to activate those shoulders in it. Oh, did 15 times. Uh, three sorry four sets and we did switch to the next workout it was hard keeping up with the form but yeah trying to keep it tight in there and we're good to go it got burning so i had to rest the weight down a little bit but yeah I had to pay back my debt but if you choose to rest don't rest for so long but it helps you keep up with a proper form in order not to mess up uh, maybe the entire workout, I could say. Last but not least, I want to thank me for doing the last workout. Well, bent lateral raises for. 15 15 times four sets and that was the last workout for our shoulders day we did finish up with the uh, biceps uh, however they're not going to be in the video but we did finish up with biceps and uh, yeah four arms in there but that was the last one uh, if you wish to try it out on your next shoulder day shoulders day uh, you can follow through and you'll get those results. Alright guys, peace out. Love you all.